what it is though. What's up? You know this curvy queen keeps in touch. This your girl Asia Paris, aka Queen Fabulosity. And I'm out here in these weight loss streets. You already know what it is. If you're new to the channel, hey curvy king. What it do, curvy queen? Go ahead, smash that subscribe button. Why? Because the content is binge worthy. Binge worthy. Binge worthy. So, just got done with my walk. Burned me about 400 calories. Did me about three miles. Yeah, baby. And you know what? The day's topic is follow through, hinty. Follow through. Yes. Can we say these two words? Follow through. Yeah, baby. Um, yesterday, let me get in the car because it's pretty loud where I'm at. And so I want y'all to really, really, really get the gist of what I'm saying. So come on guys, get in your position. Get in your position. Yes. Now you know better than this. Okay. Anyway, back to the subject. So, uh, long care guy, you're so rude. Anyhow. I got mad yesterday, y'all, because when I went to the hair store, they was closed. Why you closed? The Curvy Queen, a.k.a. Asian Paris Queen Fabulosity, needs some thread so I can sew me in a cute little sew-in for the wedding this weekend. Focus, Queen Fabulosity. Focus. Okay, we're talking about follow through. Follow through. So yesterday, when I got off work, I went and I got on the body analyzer scale. It wasn't as intense of a body analyzer scale like the one that I got on at the Metabolic um, Reboot Center, but it was intense enough that it measured your body mass index, your weight, everything, okay? So when I got my numbers back, cause see, I'm not gonna talk to you guys about something that I'm not doing myself. I got my numbers back. My numbers were very much improved. Oh, yes. I had dropped, since the last time I got on the analyzer scale, I had dropped, what, 22 pounds since I got on the scale. A total of 35 pounds all over. I lost what I thought was 11 and a half inches, but it was like 13 inches in my midriff. I'm still over 65% um, muscle mass, not water. My BMI though, my BMI is still poor. It was um very poor or extremely poor. Now it's just poor. I don't want to be poor. I want to be perfect, good. I want to be in a great level. So my BMI was poor. It dropped five points. It went down. Oh, yeah, five points. My BMI went down from like a fifty-two to a forty-seven. And, um, my blood pressure, though, I wouldn't take my medicine like I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to be taking a hydrochlorothiazide, and I haven't been taking it. So, my blood pressure was elevated. My blood pressure was 146 over 90. That's dangerous. I need to work on that. So, I have to take my medicine this morning when I get back from my walk. And I told myself yesterday, because my brother-in-law, Queen Fitness husband, so I guess he, I don't know. I ain't gonna get in his business. I ain't gonna label him. <laughs> but he walks every day and he has um, reversed his hypertension by taking a walk every day. So I told myself yesterday, I was like, look, listen, you losing weight, the scale going in the direction you want it to, you're 35 pounds down. The doctor told you you need to lose 50, then you can get off the medicine. And so that means I'm 15 pounds away from being able to get off of it. But while you're supposed to be taking it, you need to follow through and take your medicine like you're supposed to. And you need to get your butt up and walk every day. And I told my daddy, um, and I'm telling you guys, putting it on the channel as accountability measure, that I'm going to walk 30 minutes no matter what. I'm going to the gym every day, three times a week, not every day. <laughs> but I'm going to get my butt up and I'm going to walk 30 minutes every day, no matter what. Because, you know, Leslie Sansong, she has that... 15 minute one mile walk and she has the 45 minute three mile walk at uh on youtube so you can walk rain sleet snow right in the comfort of your own home but it's the pavement for me sis it's the pavement for me so i came on here today to tell you guys no matter what 
You have to be cognizant of your fitness goals and you have to actualize them. And in order to actualize those fitness goals, you have to be disciplined enough to follow through. Now, that was the first order of business. Now I'm on some holding something hostage type business. Let me tell y'all something. My sister, hashtag fitness queen, queen fitness, they synonymous. I told y'all that last week. They interchangeable. Yes. My sister has abandoned me. Oh, yes, she has. I haven't seen her. I can't remember when I seen her. I feel like I'm all alone. I'm on an island all by myself. Sister. We're my sister. So, sometimes when people don't do what you want them to do, you got to give them a little incentive. But in this sense, this sense, S-E-N-S-E, in this sense, I ain't gonna get her an incentive. Let me let me show y'all some. Hold on. Y'all know that chick is the queen fitness. Uh-huh. Fitness queen. They interchangeable. Did I tell y'all that already? But she fitness queen and queen fitness. And uh I got her Fitbit. I got her whole Fitbit. Uh-huh. So I'm not gonna tell her where I put it until I see her. So I'm holding this hostage. You ain't getting it until you come over here. I bought creamer for your Joe. I've done everything. So guess what? I got your whole Fitbit. And you ain't getting it till you come. And I mean that. On period. Poo. Weight loss street beef elevated. Now I'm holding things hostage. Yes. See you soon, Queen Fitness. And for the rest of you curvy kings and queens, I love you guys. If it's the Lord's will, I'll see you tomorrow. I ain't got to hold your stuff hostage because I already know you like me enough to come back tomorrow. In the meantime, embrace and enjoy your journey. It's taste test Thursday. I'm on some fasting, juicing type stuff, so I ain't tasting nothing right now. I really am craving a crystal scrambler. Quite skip. But I am going to try to get me some pineapple juice in me and try to get some ginger juice in me because... Pineapple, ginger, kale, magnesium, and um, potassium decreases your blood pressure. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to put it, pour the pineapple juice in the blender first, put the fresh ginger in there, put some um, kale in there, and put some something else in there to make it a good juice. And I'm going to blend it and pulsate it really, really good like a smoothie. Put a little ice in it and drink that. And I'm going to sip on that throughout the morning i'm gonna put it in my um thermos cup and so to stay cool and frozen and those are the things that i will need to decrease my blood pressure and i'm gonna take my medicine i'm gonna drink a lot of water and i got out today and i did my walk burnt my 400 calories did my three miles put it on the pavement i love you guys we're gonna follow through with this thing Come back tomorrow and I'll tell y'all how my juice tasted. Or if I get a chance, I might pop on today. But uh, my device been tripping. The upload be taking eight hours. So we'll have some real conversations when I um talk to my uh, internet provider. I love you guys. Have a very blessed day. If it's the Lord's will, I'll see you tomorrow. But in the meantime, embrace and enjoy your journey. Follow through. Bye, Curry King Queens.